Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this day with Twin Flame checking for Tuesday. The new moon in Aries, very powerful. You may have been guided to wear red today. I just put this top on and then realised, oh yeah, is the new moon in Aries today. Very powerful. So let's see what we need to know. Remember, if you do want a personal reading with me, email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information. And also to remind you, tickets are on sale for my live event in May 2024 to come and see me all day at an event in London. All the details are in the description box below. But what do we need to know today? Jump straight out there. So the energy we've got today then, we've got what is the Divine Masculine doing to help the connection move forward? And this may really be on your mind, because in the Masculine reading today, we've got adjustments are required, expect powerful change. The Masculines are going through fears of moving forward, minor fears, making changes, speaking up, reaching out. And it's affecting their toes, it's affecting their jaw, their teeth, their gums. They may be having heart palpitations. There's all kinds of physical ways you're being shown as a divine feminine what they are experiencing right now. But they are definitely looking up for the answers. They're connecting with source. They're connecting with you. They're connecting with their own self. And they're following the heart. So what is the masculine doing to help the connection for to move forward? Let's check it. So I'm going to use the cap tarot. And I used this earlier and this was the card that came out. And what they showed me was this kind of bowl here, like a big maze. So they're trying to find their way out of situations and any big mazes in their life. So what's the masculine doing to help the connection move forward? Now, there is a bit of banging and noise going on next door because they are still, you know, building the house and reju like redoing it. They're giving me the word rejuvenation because that's really what's happening. So the masculines are going through a detox, a rejuvenation to release things. So if you're seeing building work or you're hearing building noises, knocking, drilling, walls coming down, that kind of thing, you're being shown that they are working hard behind the scenes to get this done. They are making the required adjustments and you're being asked to have faith as divine feminine. So we're going to use the Hocus Pocus Tarot because what Hocus Pocus are they doing to move this forward? You know, what is the masculine doing to move the connection forward right now? What are the masculines doing to help to move this forward? So I'm going to get the cards first and then I'm going to put it all together. What else are they guiding me to? I'm going to use Chakra Lux. I've just got various card decks here. And I'll put all the cards I'm using in the description box below just to see what's coming up. I've got some dream cards here as well because I feel they are dreaming about you. And I'm going to use the Moonology Manifestation cards because they are working hard on this. What are they doing to move the connection forward right now? So the energy we've got coming through then, let's start with the Moon cards with it being the new Moon. We've got open up to change. So... They are opening up to change, but they give me the word chance. They're opening up to chance, which means they're going to take that chance, take that risk. And that's why it's very important we remember that anything can happen. And they've been open to change since we moved into the energy of November last year. You know, we're moving forward, we're getting ready, you know, power flowing in. This has been them stepping into the Aquarius energy in the new year, knowing things have got to change. You know, they knew it before Christmas, they knew it during Christmas, and they know it now. Make time for self-love. So the masculines are also making more time for themselves to think and process and work things out in a healthy way. Whereas before, they may have shut themselves down in a very unhealthy way. You know, being denying the feelings, pushing them down, repressing them distracting themselves from them now they're doing it in a healthy way because everything is coming up to the surface for healing and breakthroughs are ahead so the masculines are feeling a lot more healthy about the way they are approaching their fears and lighten up so they're also lightening up you know they're lightening up because they stop you know they're not they're forgiving themselves for things that they need to Things that they've been going over and over and over in their mind. Things they've been beating themselves up over. And it's been creating very heavy energy. You know, they're forgiving themselves. So they're lightening that load. They're removing that burden. And they're feeling lighter. 
and they're lightening up because that means they're smiling more, they're feeling better, they're feeling more confident, they're more in tune with their true self than they've ever been before. So they're starting to feel easier about this connection and easier about moving it forward. Now we've got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands, very powerful because, you know, in the other energy, we got the Queen of Pentacles, which is about independence and really finding the way out of that maze, that struggle they are in. And now we've got the Queen of Swords because, you know, sometimes the masculines take the time and I know that can trigger the Divine Feminine, but you're being reminded that they are doing what they need to do. You know, the Knight of Wands is an energy of action and making those required adjustments. And right now he's, he's getting ready to pounce, he's getting ready. So this is the energy where he's about to make his move. He's about to jump ahead. You know, he's watching kind of in this car. What I'm feeling is this is like a little piece of string or rope and he's preparing to jump on it. So he's preparing to take action here. And you're being reminded as a divine feminine that you were strong enough to handle this. You know, the interim time when he may be thinking, processing, waiting, waiting for the right time because this is showing you he's getting the potion right. You know, he's getting the concoction right. He wants to do it the right way. He doesn't want to mess it up anymore or let you down. And he's tapping in with his higher self. He's tuning in with his high priestess energy. He's listening to his heart and following his heart. He's willing to take a risk. He's listening to his higher self. I'm ready to communicate with my higher self in my dreams and to become enlightened. So he said, I'm looking up now for the answers. Instead of looking back or around me, I'm going within. And I'm ready to communicate. He's saying, you're the energy of my higher self. So he knows that you are one and he understands that he's always connecting with you in other ways. Through dreams, telepathy, signs, synchronicities. He's very aware of that now, especially within his chakra system. Because he's feeling these things more than ever. And he's saying, I am ready to communicate with you. But I'm communicating with my higher self first to receive the answers. And I'm becoming more enlightened. And I have all the support I need. I'm now surrounding myself with those who support my vision and share my values. So he's showing you that he is releasing himself from things or people or situations toxic to his soul. He's detoxing. He's saying, I don't want to be around those people anymore if they don't support what I want, if they aren't for us. Because he's saying, I'm for us. I'm all in and other people need to be too. Otherwise, I'll make changes. And I'm open to change and embracing change on this new day. And I am adapting to what is to come. So he's saying, I'm getting ready for the future. I'm preparing for this new beginning. I'm preparing in my body for all these changes I need to make. And I am nurturing myself more and more every day. I open my arms and wrap around those that need nurturing, starting with myself. So he's saying, I want to be able to hold you and nurture you and be there for you and look after you. But first, I have to do this for me. I have to think about me and what I want and where I'm going and what to do. And that's why I'm regenerating. I'm regenerating to become the person I've truly come here to be. And whilst I dream, I clear my mind of all negativity and my spirit is refreshed. So he's definitely going through healing in dreams, healing in sleep state. So again, the masculines could be dreaming a bit more, connecting with you in dreams. They may even be. Wow. That was that noise then. And a big motorbike went past at the same time, which is about speed. So he may be spending more time dreaming or sleeping to release himself from the past, to receive those answers. And timing is everything. The timing is just right for my dreams, desires and goals to manifest. So the timing is right. Things are on track. You're on the right path. So feel at peace with that today. Create peace, prosperity, and joy in your life by feeling free. And the mask is saying, I feel the connection and I do experience compassion. Resolve your conflicts with compassion. So your mask is asking you to have compassion with this connection, with the timing of it, to find peace in it. Father Divine and Mother Earth make love in your heart. So this is really the energy of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Making love in the heart. Feeling it in the heart. Listen to that, it's painful. 
So we feel it in the heart because we release everything around it that needs to go. So the masculine is saying, I am doing what I need to do and changing what I need to change to be with you, but you must trust that I'm doing the work. So I want to bring in Georgie's deck today. I want to bring in the divine masculine messages to the divine feminine. And this is a beautiful deck by George. So George is showing this here. Look at this. We've got fire. Fire. So your masculine is saying, as we've moved into the energy of fire, which is Aries, there's action taking place. And this is so powerful because you guys know this building work has been going on for a long, long time now, months and months. And we don't seem to have had any noise for a while. We're in a new moon today. We're moving into Aries energy. Boom, the noise is back because it's the noise or the energy of noise and action. Taking action, fire. Your twin is saying, I feel what you feel. I feel all the passion. I feel all the desire. I feel all the heat. I know I need to make changes and do the work. Trust me to find my way. So I'm also going to bring in the signs from Spirit Love Oracle. What else is he saying? What's he doing to move this connection forward? What's he doing to move this forward? He's saying tidal wave disturbance. He's dealing with the disturbances in his heart and mind. He's dealing with his situation and his life. And he's saying the things that are hidden are coming out into the open. And it's causing chaos, upheaval, storms. But I'm willing to face it. So the fire energy is also about fiery endings. It's about changes coming in. It's about movement, action, power. So the masculine, what does he want to say to you today with the masculine message, Tara? I'm dealing with my ego during this fire energy. So be patient with me. I must do things at my own pace because that's how I will follow through on my plans. So he's saying I will follow through on my plans. All the things we've discussed and talked about. All the things we've experienced in dreams and felt together. All the ways we want to move it forward. I will do what I've come here to do. But I am dealing with my ego. I need to get the potion right. I need to make it right. I need to heal what's going on around me. I need to take my time to be able to move towards you. I'm connecting with my higher self. I'm open to this change now more than ever. So I can lighten up and lighten the load and feel at peace. And focus on self-love. So what's the masculine doing to move the connection forward? Spending more time focusing on himself, what he needs, the right way in a more healthy way to move it forward towards union at the right time. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.